Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make the press that I use to build my own longboard deck. So I saw a few videos online of people that were making kind of a press thing and then piling weights and sandbags and even cars on top of it to get the right force. But this design allows you to apply a consistent, repeatable and controllable force in the right areas. So it's very adaptable, you can change the dimensions to make whatever size board you wish. I'll leave a link for in the description for the detailed drawings, the assembly drawings and all the parts you need. Um, for the board that I made, I'll leave a link for the dimensions of mine in the description. But you can, as I say, you can change it to whatever you want. So these two roughly 2x2 two two inch pieces have two pass through holes in for the threaded rods. And just a simple pass through a hole to mount it to the base. So the bit that the board rests on has this 20 degree chamfer on it. This is just sanded down and then rounded off at the edges. And this just makes sure that the board starts bending from the outside edge so you get a larger bending radius. It also means that there's more surface area around the corners where it's very important that the board sticks. And it will prevent uh, anything leaving a mark on the underside of the board. So these pieces are just simply screwed in self tappers. Uh, you can drill a pilot hole if you want but uh, it doesn't really need it. Um, and these, these can be anywhere uh, roughly the centre. Again it's on the drawing if you want to make it exactly that, like this. So this is now your bit. Uh, this never changes. This is can be used again and again. And to apply the force we're using these 3 8 inch threaded rods as I mentioned. So it's just two washers on these just to, you know, distribute the force on the wood evenly. And this is secured by two knots on either side. And this is the final assembly of the base. There's just four of these. And this is what your laminated wood rests on. So just to show you an example, this is a clip from a video I made a while ago when I built my board in the first place. So you just lay it flat on there and then apply the clamps on top. This piece of wood in the middle is what gives you your uh, concavity in the centre. So you can, of course, once you tighten the bolts down evenly, uh, determine how deep that is. The Each end is just supported by a thickness of wood. Uh, again, uh, you can make that as high up or as low down as you want and that will give you the the kick shape at the back. So once you've done that you clamp everything down. I used some thin strips of wood at each side as you can see there just to keep it together and you can leave this for, I left it for two or three days. A day should be enough normally depending on how you make your board and all this is very easy to remove afterwards there's no tension on, on it anymore and you should end up with a nice shape of wood like this which you can then cut out to your template and this was what I ended up with so I hope this video has helped you please subscribe if you enjoyed and if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment so thanks for watching and see you in the next video